Are you tired of slow, unreliable, and outdated car scanners that under-deliver and looking to upgrade to a versatile, powerful, and modern tool? This is the King Bowling K10 Elite Diagnostics Tool with comprehensive vehicle coverage, all system scanning, bi-directional control, ECU coding and adaptation, advanced protocol support, over 40 reset functions, and intelligent topology mapping. Impressive. Let's check it out. So this unit actually feels really nice in the hand. It's pretty heavy, but it is really well enclosed. And as we can see in the box, we have quite a few items included. And it does come with everything you need. So we have a code to activate the unit. And yes, this unit does have to be activated and updated before you can use it for the first time. But I think that's pretty standard for a lot of these bigger, more professional type scanners. Of course, we have the sturdy case that houses everything and we have a couple of cables and we have the adapter and we have all the documentation that we need. Pretty good manual as well. But also notice how much foam is inside this case so everything will be safe for when you are storing this unit. We have a camera in the back here and a nice large stand in the back so you can just stand it up like that or you can hang it on the steering wheel which is probably how it's going to be used most of the time. On the top here we have a couple of USB ports so a USB-C for charging this device and then you have a USB-A. I assume this is for probably plugging in like a keyboard or a mouse if you want. We have that OBD2 port that goes into that cable right there and of course the power button. And with this 10 inch screen, it's gonna be pretty easy to use it and enjoy it and actually see everything when you are working on a car. So let's jump into this. We have quite a few items here on the main screen. We have diagnosis, intelligent diagnosis, maintenance, upgrade, ADAS modules, file, repair info, remote assistant, and settings. So let's just quickly go to settings. So this is where you would be activating your VCI or basically connection to the vehicle. You also have the store, so you can purchase subscription packages here. And yes, this will require payment after two years of free updates. But you do get two years of free updating, which is not bad for what this is. You also have FCA diagnostics. This is not activated. You will have to pay more, I believe. Same thing for Renault and Dacia cars and things like that. A few other things in here like user information, technical management, password stuff, Wi-Fi. So you, you do have to connect to Wi-Fi first. And look at these hardware specs. 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. Pretty good for what this is. And yes, tons of other stuff you can set up in here. But realistically, you're going to go through that once and probably never going to touch it again. What we will be touching basically every day is diagnosis and intelligent diagnosis. These are practically the same things. This will allow you to search stuff manually. This will do it for you. I'll go into this one first just so I can show you everything that this supports. This has a very comprehensive vehicle coverage. It supports over like 10,000 car models. And look, there's so many cars in here. I mean, if you can imagine it, it's probably here. Lamborghinis are here. Mahindras for India, Maseratis, Maybach. Rover, Renault, Tata. I mean, I'm just highlighting like the strange ones to me. So since I'm sitting in a BMW, I can just hit BMW right here and it would take me to the BMW specific software. But I'm just gonna use the automatic one. But also while we're here, you notice there's OBD2 and EOBD. This is for your like standard OBD functionality. So if you're just looking to do uh, emission testing stuff or just read standard codes, things like that, you can just go over there. I'm not going to be showing this here since that's pretty standard stuff. So I'm just going to go to intelligent diagnosis and let it do its thing. And yes, I put the car in accessory mode or in this BMW X7, it's called the diagnostics mode. And here we have a couple of items. We have diagnosis or quick access. I'm going to go into diagnosis because it shows us a bit more information. So it pulled up more information about the car. We can hit next. And then we're going to present it with a few options. And right away, as soon as it loads, you have the system topology. And this is what makes it pretty cool. This will allow you to visualize what this car actually has and what's wrong, what's working, what's not. So I'm just going to do a smart scan. So I'll just scan all the systems. This is what makes this scanner stand out from the other scanner. So not only is this a full system diagnostics tool where it's capable of scanning and diagnosing all vehicle systems, so including like ECM, TCM, ABS, SRS, BCM, 
whatever. I mean, you can see all the other ones here as well. Like on this car, it's a VTG, EPS, DIS, like all of this stuff is very easily accessible, right? And look, it's done. How quick was that? Super, super quick. And of course here you can do a report. So we can have this information or you can just skip that, not enter it, skip that as well. Of course, if you were a shop, you probably want to fill that out and you have all this information easily available right here. You can give it to a client or something like that. And then you can share it, print it or save it. I'm just going to save it and we can open it. There it is. So there's the report that the person would actually receive. You have the codes, you have a QR code, so you can scan it on your phone and pull it up over there. Super easy to do. And yes, you can share it from here as well, email or Bluetooth. And of course we can even do a diagnostics plan here. So if we click on that, yeah, it's gonna clear and continue. And yeah, functions like this is what makes the difference here because there's a lot of scanners that will scan all of your modules, but having this information this nicely presented is what makes a difference, right? It makes your repairs and your diagnostics job much faster. Also, did you notice how quickly it scanned all of those modules? And that's because this has advanced protocol support. So it's compatible with the CAN FD and the DOIP protocols, ensuring coverage for newer vehicle models without the need for additional adapters or waiting for stuff to happen. Because a lot of times it's just really slow, especially on a car like this that has like 37 modules, right? And here you go, you have special functions for different issues that were on the car. So where it said contactless vehicle access deactivated, well, we have a special function available for that. So activate contactless vehicle access, right? So we can go to function and then we can operate it. And there you go, it's gonna take you specifically to that function. And then you can follow the steps to actually uh, do what needs to be done to fix the issue. Whether it's gonna fix the issue or not, I'm not sure, but you have those options. And this is exactly how BMW, like OEM computers work, right? They find an issue and they give you a possible guidance on or possible function that can fix that issue. So yeah, very cool. Of course, what I would normally do instead, instead of just like doing this, I would go to clear DTCs and erase all of them. But let me go into one and then show you uh, what that looks like. So by just clicking on one of them, you can get the codes pulled up right away. And then if we hit enter, we can go specifically into that module. And then we have the module information that we just saw. We can read the fold code separately and have more information here. So we have the data stream, if you like, for that specific code. So it's going to quickly take us to the problem area and help us figure that out. And of course, you can just clear the codes from here as well. Hit OK. And now if you go read the codes, there's nothing left. Of course, once in the module, we can go to data stream. So we can just read data of any sensor. So this is gonna be the more advanced uh, system scanning. So of course, if you just use a regular OBD2 scanner, it's not gonna be able to show you this. But for example, if you go to display and hit okay, we have that information pulled up right away. So it's very, very quick. And of course, I'll, I'll pull up some better information later and I can show you what graphing capabilities this has as well. Now, not only does this have the intelligent topology mapping, which provides a visual representation, as you can see, especially using the different communication networks. So this is on the ethernet, this is on the flag tray, this is on the K, CAN 6, 4, and 2. So you can see how these modules are connected and interconnected between all of the systems. Very cool to see, honestly, and it helps in quick identification of system faults. Now, if you don't like the system topology look, of course, you can just go to system list and it gives you a list and you can enter each module from here. But on top here, we have a lot more interesting information. Although before we go there, let me clear the DTCs right here. Boom, boom. So just erasing the codes on each one and then rescanning it. And as you can see, after erasing everything, we only have one code left. Before we move on, I wanted to go back to system list and go to the engine module so we can look at some live data once I start the engine. And I wanted to show you how the graphing works on here. So we're gonna go to read data stream, diagnostics request. And from here, we can just select a few interesting ones and then I'm gonna hit okay. So of course that data pulls up very quickly, but now I'm gonna go to graph and look at that. It can graph all of this stuff very quickly. So let me start the car, okay? So stuff should start changing pretty quickly here. Okay, okay look at the accelerator. I'm gonna give it some gas. 
there you go so the position of the accelerator pedal changed as well and all of this is very adjusted very quickly so if i hit on this one super quick it loads into that one we can go to a different item here if you want we can switch it up or we can just keep it right here and it responds very very quickly so i'm going to hold the revs a bit there you go very nice so that's super impressive and it refreshes quickly here as well and you can create a report as well as record the sample that you have been watching and then you can export it or show it to somebody else or whatever you like and the last item i wanted to show you here is actually the instrument cluster so if you go in here and like i said everything i'm showing you is available in pretty much every single module it just depends on how much information the module actually provides but we're going to go to actuation test which is the bi-directional functionality let's say general hit okay on this and here we can activate basically anything we want on the car so we can turn on as an example the yellow lights on the instrument cluster so i'm going to move this out of the way and i'm just going to hit activate and there you go all of the yellow items so all of the yellow leds and whatever icons are now illuminated on the screen same thing we can do with for example turn the signal lights on there you go so those are on now i can stop it what you can actually do is you can turn stuff on in the engine like injectors or fans or coolant pumps or whatever it may be you can lock unlock the car lower the windows activate certain actuators or motors or leds and that's an amazing way of testing if the stuff is actually working and the last item here is fault guidance and that's going to be what we saw earlier if you have faults it's going to provide a possible solution that you can use i want to move on to the next item here and this is going to be the special functions this is the oe level functionality that really is important if you're doing the more complicated stuff in the car so for example if you go to the drive system you can do all of this for example open and close radiator blinds adjust idle speed reset adaptation values fuel grade recognition electric fan so you can activate that so it's like the bi-directional functionality but this is presented much better so you know exactly what you're doing and you're not just going module to module you can see what those are and it's better explained start up with the oil circuits so if you've rebuilt the engine or drained the oil for a long time this is very important to build up the oil pressure before you run the engine engine oil quantity so you can you know can check the level of the oil in the car you can calibrate the transfer box i mean just all the stuff in here is honestly incredible and this is there's a lot more in here obviously so you can go to chassis so you have your you know automatic hold brake startup you have your right height sensor startups transport mode brake bleeding routine brake fluid renewal it's gonna do all of this stuff for you so if you're working on cars this is all you're gonna need register the lithium ion battery exchange so a lot of people have asked have asked me like on the bmw x7 there's a 20 amp hour battery under the hood that's not the main battery but it's like a low one for accessories well you can register that with this device pretty awesome because i have actually not seen this option in many other scanners i think i've only seen it in one other one and i think it was even more expensive than this one we also have a few maintenance items here like simple server corrections so you can go in here and change when the reminder is going to pop up on your screen in the car now of course in this bmw software screen we also have the anti-theft system we have to download more software for this so i'm not going to show it to you but we also have coding and programming which is really really nice to have and this is like the beamer code stuff that people talk about and i've actually shown in a couple of videos this will allow you to customize the vehicle so this is cool because you can go into each module here and then change the settings on the vehicle so as an example you can change how the instrument cluster behaves what it shows so you can switch from like a standard display to an alpina one or you can change how warm your seats get so you can change the temperature level for like option one option two or option three and there's a ton more for example you can make your side mirrors fold in when you lock the car now i think we've kind of looked more or less into a lot of this functionality here so we can jump out of this and go back to a couple of the other items that are on the screen like this ADAS now i would love to show you this but you do need additional equipment to make this work but if you work on the advanced systems like this 
this is really valuable. Now, we also have module section here, so you can buy additional things like the TPMS scanners and attach it to this device. Of course, we have the files that we saved earlier, so we can just open that up like this, and we have the reports that we saw earlier, obviously. You have the diagnostics here as well, battery test reports and diagnostics records if you record those. And of course, before doing anything, I upgraded everything. So this took probably, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes and all of this software was updated to the latest version. You definitely want to do that. And if you don't want to pay for the updates after two years, make sure you update it before the two years expire. And that way you will have the latest software from then on. Yes, you may not be able to update it without paying after that, but you will be still be able to use all of that software that you have downloaded. The last thing I want to show you here is the maintenance items. Now, these are very similar to those uh, OE level uh, special functions that we saw, but these are a little bit nicer presented, I would say. And these represent the main special functions that are available across different vehicles. So not all of these will be available on the vehicle that you are in but it's possible that they are if that makes sense as an example dpf uh, regeneration or the ad blue reset will do nothing on this car because this is a gas car but the options are here so you, as you can see you know airbag resets ac system relearn initialization anti-theft key matching uh, EGR adaptation, ECU resets, water pump starts. You can do the engine power balancing monitoring from here, FRM matching, injector coding, super important on BMWs, high voltage battery diagnostics. I should plug that into my electric car and see what that does. Gear learning, you can change the language of the displays in the car, seat calibration, startup settings, window calibration, TPMS, like all this stuff is right here, all resets, of course, but you will mostly see the really cool stuff in the intelligent diagnosis uh, parts of the software where it actually represents what you can do on your specific car. Some additional user friendliness on here is if you swipe from the top, you can change the brightness easily. The volume, I turn it all the way down so it doesn't click when I press on stuff. Uh, you can also turn on or off Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and screen recording. So if you like, you can record the screen and it will record the entire process of what you're doing. So if you go to here and press on BMW or whatever, it will record everything. And this is actually a very good page that I forgot to show you. This shows you what this software supports. So each makes software will probably work a little bit different but yeah this is what this can do recording and replacing ecus changes to use settings transportation modes it's a lot it's a lot of stuff that this can do and if we go to for example audi you can see the same stuff so it can perform all of these actions on an audi and each car is going to be different of course but this will be vehicle specific software Anyway, those recordings will go into your files that I showed you earlier, and you can just save those right there. Well, I think this is a pretty cool device, and it's pretty user-friendly. The interface is very easy to use. You have this nice 10-inch high-definition touchscreen display, and it runs Android 10, I believe. I think this is a good buy for a shop or maybe somebody that works on a lot of different cars. And the learning curve may be a little extensive on some of the more advanced features, like those coding features or some of the maintenance items or the OE level uh, special functions that you're not familiar with. But hey, if you have the tool, at least you can learn how to use it. So yeah, if this is what you're looking for, check out the links in the description. Use those if you'd like to support the channel. I think the K10 Elite's performance and value proposition is there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like the video if you liked it, leave your comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!